Understanding Gmail's SMTP is crucial for any business that relies on email for customer communication, sales, or support, as misconfigured settings or improper usage can cause emails to land in spam instead of the inbox. And in this video, we'll walk you through the key Gmail configurations, limits, and best practices, so make sure to keep watching. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. Email giants like Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo all offer access to something called an SMTP server. For Gmail users, the Gmail SMTP lets them send emails through Google's infrastructure, handling all stages of email delivery. In action, it looks a little something like this. Imagine you're a small business owner using WooCommerce to manage orders. You send confirmation emails, but they keep landing in spam, frustrating customers, and disrupting sales. By properly integrating Gmail SMTP with your WooCommerce site, your emails can become automated and get reliably delivered with no need for manual intervention. Of course, Gmail SMTP can be used by other types of businesses as well to ensure important emails such as appointment reminders, invoices, customer support responses, and marketing campaigns are delivered directly to the inbox. To take advantage of this benefit and Gmail SMTP in general, users do have to complete a few steps. These steps typically include enabling app passwords or using OAuth authentication, retrieving Gmail SMTP server details, configuring the Gmail SMTP in an app or system, and testing the setup by sending a test email. Still, like any SMTP server, Gmail's also comes with limitations. So if you're using a free Gmail account, you're capped at sending 500 emails per day, while Google Workspace accounts get a higher limit of 2,000 emails daily. While these sending limits can be frustrating, they're not the only thing to watch out for. If you send too many emails too quickly, Google might temporarily block your account. Also, Gmail SMTP isn't really meant for bulk email sending, so you're better off using a dedicated email service if that's your goal. Then you have the issue of repeated failures or spam reports, which could get your account suspended. And if your IP reputation isn't great, your emails might not even make it to the inbox. Want to stay ahead of these email pitfalls? Subscribe to our channel for expert tips on email deliverability. Now that you're all set with those insights, let's refocus on the sending limits and how businesses can work around them to make the most of Gmail. That task will require dedication and persistence in following best practices, which include use a business domain with Google Workspace to sound more professional and build trust with your recipients. Authenticate your emails by setting up SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records. Gradually increase the number of emails you send each day to avoid hitting Gmail's limits. Monitor your email sending through Google Postmaster tools by keeping an eye on performance, bounce rates, and engagement, so you can catch any issues before they affect delivery. Respect Gmail's restrictions by avoiding sending too many emails too fast, which could lead to your account being blocked. Avoid spammy content and behavior by only emailing people who've opted in giving them an easy way to unsubscribe and steering clear of overly salesy language or too many links. Upgrade to Google Workspace if you're not happy with the sending limits and security features of a free Gmail account. Use a dedicated email service provider like MailTrap, SendGrid, or Amazon SES if you need to send bulk emails. And test your email campaigns before sending them out with Gmail so they perform well and actually land in inboxes. And with that, we've covered the basics of Gmail SMTP, but there's still so much more to learn. So if you want to expand your knowledge further, watch our dedicated videos on topics like SMTP fundamentals and the ins and outs of SMTP ports. See you there!